Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a Shop My Closet video. I got this idea from a fellow YouTuber, Delia Le Fay. If you haven't seen her channel before, I'll put the link for her channel down below in the description box. She's a really awesome, sweet YouTuber, and yeah, definitely check her out. So I'm all dressed up because I just did a TikTok video. Uh, I said in the, my other, my last video that I joined TikTok like everybody else. And I don't know, I have fun doing it, but I feel like it's a lot of work. But anyways, I figured kill two birds with one stone. I'm already dressed up, I might as well do a YouTube video. So this is a, it's called Shop My Closet. And it's basically, I just show you things in my closet. And this category will be jackets and like outerwear coats, things like that. And I have a few, like nothing crazy, I don't have like a ton, but there are a few cool ones I really like and I want to show you guys. I got my festive Christmas tree in the background. This is just like the second one that I just stuck in the family room for like, I don't know, the lights or whatever. It doesn't have any decorations on it. Anyways, um, I'm not going to do this in any kind of like particular order or like I'll have like ones that are kind of the same group together. It's just going to be like all random. I just pulled them out of the closet. So this one is a long fur lined coat. Oh, it's not really fur. I don't even know what you call it. It's like fake. Yeah, I guess it's fake fur. And this is by Larry Levine Sport. Um, I don't even, I think I just got this in the mall, like a store in the mall a long time ago. But I'll try it on for you guys. I don't wear this one too often. This is more dressy if I'm gonna go out like to a fancy restaurant or I don't even know what, but. Hopefully you guys can see that. My camera's far away enough. And it just buttons up the front here. It's actually pretty warm. So yeah, there's that one. Next one, I actually have this in like an older video that I got. Where the hell did I get this from? I don't think it was Restyle. It's made by Poison Industries and I had some complaints about it because the sleeves were kind of baggy and weird, but I still kept it and I literally forgot I had it and just pulled it out of the closet the other day. And I was gonna sell it and then I put it on and I was like, eh, it's not as bad as I remember. Um, it's, it's a winter coat, so it's heavy. And, if, and also heavy as far as like weight wise, I think that was another reason why I don't wear it as much is because of the weight of it. I just didn't like it. But I feel like it looks better when it's zipped up. It just kind of gives me more like a figure. And yeah, so see how the sleeves are just like kind of baggy and long. <laughs> I can, they have like uh, tightened things here, like little buckle thingies. I tightened them as much as I could, but I mean, it helped a little bit. And it has a hood on it. So here we are yet again filming on my phone because my camera literally just broke. I, it felt was on the stand. I like hit the stand by accident and my lens like smashed into the camera and it's all cracked and fucked. I can probably just buy a new lens for it, but whatever, I'm <laughs> gonna record on my camera, I mean my phone again. And like, I had such issues getting my um, videos off my phone last time when I did my last video, I don't, Apple sucks. I, I just don't get it. Like I try to download the, the files onto my computer. And it just doesn't work. It never works for me. Uh, even with my old Apple phone, same thing, whatever. I'm gonna stop complaining and we're just gonna get on to the next jacket. So this next jacket was one I got when I was in high school. It's a leather jacket and I put patches on it. It has a poison patch on the back and down below it says Motley Crue. On the front, it has a Danzig um, patch. Did I say tattoo? Did I say it has a Molly Crew tattoo on the back? <laughs> Sorry. I'm just upset about my camera. Uh, Metallica, Creeping Death. Why did I think that? Oh, and here's one right here. My ex-boyfriend actually made this for me. Um, it's a 16 horsepower um, band. 
patch that he made. And I have, because I used to smoke cigarettes, I took the caps off of lighters and put them down the front of my jacket. I used to have spikes on the wrist area, but every time I went to a concert and I wore this, they would be like, you can't wear that jacket in here. I'm like, okay, so I ended up taking them out. This is from Wilson's Leather. It's just a leather store they used to have around. This is actually a men's jacket. I think it's in a medium. I don't wear this anymore because it is heavy and it's bulky. I do love it though. Like I love the patches and stuff on it, but it's just, it's too heavy to wear. Like to stand there at a concert with this big heavy jacket on you, you know what I mean? Oh, Misfits. I totally missed this one too. <laughs> I missed the Misfits. I have a Misfits patch right there. So yeah, this jacket is pretty... Old. I think I had it since I uh, was 16 years old. This next jacket is actually a vintage jacket that was my grandmother's. It's almost like a velvety type of material and it has the fur trim and um, just a warning for people who are uh, vegan or you know against animal cruelty. It is real fur. Not my fault. It was hers and I'm not going to throw it away because um, she was really special to me and I just want, it's like one of the only things I have by her. I don't wear it that often, um, just because I don't want to ruin it. It's made from Wales of London. I honestly don't know what year it's from, but it's probably pretty old. And I've worn it a few times um, for like Halloween costumes. But I love it. It actually has like fur trim on the bottom. You can't see it because... You just can't see it. I should like push the camera back more. I'm going to push the camera back more. Still like at a eye shot from the, on the camera, but whatever, you get the point. So yeah, I love this jacket. Okay, next we have this jacket and it is Claire's jacket from Outlander. I got this from Hot Topic a few years back. If you haven't seen the Outlander series, I would recommend checking it out. So my only complaints about this jacket is it's very light. It looks like it would be like a nice heavy winter jacket, but it actually isn't. And I don't, I can't really wear it that often, like in the fall maybe. Um, I think I've worn it a few times, but like that's about it. Cause it literally is like very thin, but it has the faux fur on the, um, wrists here and sorry I keep looking over there I need to look over here and it has a fur uh, trimmed hoodie part of it or hood whatever and it kind of it flares out here which I really like so it just buttons like this and then it kind of like comes out like that It's really comfortable, but like I said, it's just not really good for the winter at all. This next jacket is made by Love Fire. I don't know where I got this. I might have gotten it at Kohl's. But it's a really cool, like, uh, outer spacey star galaxy design. Well, not so much galaxy, but just stars. It's a thin jacket that you would wear like in the springtime and it's kind of like a silky material. But I just think it looks really cute. It looks like that what like bomber like style type jacket where it's got like the elastic here kind of and it zips up the front. I just kind of throw it on if I'm just going out like casually and wearing like Maybe just like jeans and a t-shirt or something. It looks really cute. So let me know what you guys think. So this is a jacket that I tend to wear more so in the fall time. I got it from a company called Venus. It's like an online, they have like a catalog. I used to get and I used to get clothes from them, but I haven't bought from them in a while. It's more just like, I don't know. It's just women's clothing. It's like nothing really like gothy or alternate or anything like that. It's just like nicer looking stuff I want to say but you can find stuff in like that's black that looks kind of like goth or like metal or something so that's why I've gotten a few things from them but this is like fall like my fall jacket and it zippers 
like sideways. So wearing it open is not good. Like you just can't, like it just doesn't look right. If you just wear it open, you have to zip it up. And it has like the sleeves are fake leather. What do they call it? Leather. But see what I mean? Like it zips kind of like to the side and it has this like collar piece that kind of flops over. I don't know, I really need to like arrange it properly, but I can't really do that right now, but you get the point. But I don't know, I just think it's cute for like the fall with a pair of jeans or something, you know? But like I said, you can't, you can't just wear it unzipped because it looks really strange because you need this like effect going on right here with the collar. This next jacket is, I believe, leather too. Yeah, designed exclusively for Harley Davidson. I can't read the name, Aiden Jen. You can read that. Um, if, I didn't say, if I didn't just say it, I got it at a thrift store. And it was kind of 80s looking to me. Like, look at the back. It reminded me kind of like a Michael Jackson type of jacket. And like the pockets. In the front there. I think I've only worn this like a handful of times. Um, I can't remember why. Maybe we'll try it on. We're gonna see how it looks. But I don't know if I just didn't like the way it looked on me or what. Oh my god, it's really stiff. That's what she said. <laughs> well, it's not. I mean, it's not too bad. I think the collar kind of goes up, uh, like stiff against my neck. But it's not bad. Maybe I should wear it more often. It's not too heavy. I feel like the 80s, because it looks 80s, and I feel like the 80s fashion is really coming back now. Like, you see a lot of TikTok people and Instagram people that are, like, totally 80s, but they're, like, in their 20s. Like, they dress like they're from the 80s, and I love it because I used to be like that when I was in my 20s. I used to dress, like... You know, it was the 80s because I like, I love that era, era, but now it's just really coming back and I feel like you can find more clothing where it was, I literally had a thrift stuff to find like acid wash jeans and stuff and stuff like this. So yeah, on to the next. So you might have seen this in one of my Killstar haul videos because it's one of their jackets and this is like my main winter coat that I basically like wear all the time. Um, has faux fur hood, it has lacing uh, in the back here, and the sleeves kind of like this part pulls out and has thumb holes, which is kind of cool. My only complaint about this jacket is that it's a little snug in the armpit area, so I've already like bust through it twice and I've had to sew it but it's only if I wear like a sweatshirt underneath it or a sweater or something heavier you know what I mean if I have it on just like this it's fine but it just they just didn't make it big enough in here but I, I love this jacket like I literally it's so comfortable I wear it all, I literally wear it all the time got like a mask in my pocket love the I don't know I just love the hood I love the lacing I really had to tie the lacing tight in the back because it kept coming undone because it's like a silk ribbon. So that's the only issue really with that in the armpits. Oh, let's see if I can put my, see, put your fingers in the thumb hole. Isn't that cute? I never, honestly, I never do that. <laughs> I just like keep them tucked up, you know, in the sleeve and I just wear gloves. Oh, and it has this too, the little moon zipper pull thingy right here. You can see it, isn't that cute? Okay, just a few more to go. I have more jackets than I thought I did. This is another winter jacket. It's made by Freeze Zone. I got it just like at some random store in the mall. And I basically was looking for like a more feminine style, like, um, 
what are these called? Not army jackets. Flight, flight jackets. My ex-boyfriend used to have one and I loved it. And I saw this and I was like, oh my God, I love it. Cause it has like the fur hood. It's really comfortable and it's heavy. Um, so it's like my other winter jacket I wear when I'm just um, not wearing the black hill star one. This is more if I'm wearing jeans and like sweat pants and I just go out to like run errands or something. But I really like this coat. Yeah, like um, you know, the army stores used to sell them like the flight jackets and the big like, bomber jackets. Is that what they're called? Whatever. But it was like this style and I always loved them. Uh, this other jacket was more of a dress jacket for, you know, when I went out, it was like a, it's a lighter leather jacket made by Colebrook. And I used to wear it all the time. I don't really wear it anymore. Probably because I don't really go anywhere anymore. Like fancy, you know, like to a nice restaurant or something or whatever, an event. But it's just like a sleek looking leather jacket. It just zips up the front. Oh, it's kind of tight. It's a size small. I wear a size large. Um, so it is a little bit snug on me, but it does fit. Uh, this is another leather jacket. I follow, I apologize for people who are like, oh my God, I can't believe she owns that many, um, animal like products, but like I have pleather. I had a pleather coat that was really nice. Uh, I loved it had, um, the band him like logo on the back. It was really pretty with like purple and stuff. They just, it, that material just like, it just falls apart over time and it just doesn't last where like leather jackets will last you forever. And, um, I don't know. I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I just own leather. This is made by Walter Dyer leather. So it was like a local, um, leather shop. They sold like cowboy boots and biker boots and stuff. So this is just like my, um, it's my women's leather jacket as, as opposed to the one with the patches on it was my men's one. I wanted a women's, a women's style one that was more comfortable and not as heavy for me to wear. So yeah, I wear this a lot to like go see metal bands and stuff like that. Just zips up the front, has like some zipper pockets and stuff. It has a belt too. I don't wear that. Also the... My grandmother's old jacket had a belt and some other jacket I had had a belt that I showed you. I don't remember now. I just never wear belts. I don't know. But I feel like it's a nuisance because it's like, do it and then undo it. I'm like, I already have to zip it up and whatever. I mean, it looks nicer with the belt on, but it's just more convenient this way. It has like a zipper pocket here and stuff. And I think it has like, I thought I had an inside pocket. Maybe it doesn't. It has like a line. Actually, this I liked it because it had a lining you could take out of it. So in the winter time, you could put the lining in, and then if you wanted it to be lighter, you could take the lining out. Now this jacket I love. This is like a dress jacket, and it's made by Black Rivet. I love it because it's like a pea coat, but it's like more military style. I was like so excited when I found this because I love how like. The collar like goes up so high and has the buttons here. I just, I don't know, I just really love it. It has like buttons here and then like down the front that you button it over like this, yeah. And th this comes with a belt too, but I don't, wear, I don't wear it. But I love this jacket. Like, isn't that so cool? Like the high collar, so fancy. Oh, and like, look at the animal print lining. I forgot about that. Okay, one more jacket. This jacket also has a belt. It's made by Guess. And I got this years ago. It's kind of like a lighter fall jacket. I love this jacket, it's really cute and fitted has a like detail on the collar here with like the little stud thingies. The only thing I don't like about this jacket is it's itchy. The um, actual outside part, if it touches your skin, 
like this is like itchy, but like inside here is like silky, so it's not that bad. But like see how the material is still here. So when it touches my skin here, it's like itchy, but I put a scarf on, it's not bad. But I just think it looks cute the way it like zips up this way. I like the cuff area here with like the buttons. has pockets right here and yeah it looks it does look nicer with the belt but again i just don't wear it because i can't be bothered with it and i don't think you guys really care like whatever you don't need to see it with the belt you get the point so yeah okay guys that is it for this video hope you enjoyed it something different uh thank you to delia for giving me this idea and maybe i'll do other stuff like this like a series like she does like i think like skirts and like i don't know like uh oh she did lip service i think her lip service clothing and stuff like that so like different brands or whatever just that, that she's had so i think it's a neat idea something different to do instead of just buying a bunch of stuff and being like this is stuff that i just bought as opposed to showing like a collection of things that things that you've already owned so yeah let me know in the comments down below what your favorite uh jacket was um some of my favorites are definitely my Killstar one, my military one, and I don't know, I just think for sentimental value, my old leather jacket with the patches on it because it just has a lot of memories tied to it. So yeah, that's it for me today, guys. If you haven't already, please think about subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you guys here. Uh, check out the links below in the description box to all my social media and stuff. And my Patreon, if you want to become a patron um, or can buy me a Kofi, <laughs> but then the proceeds will go to buy a new uh, camera or lens. I don't know what I'm going to do, but yeah. So until next time, stay dark, my friends, and I will talk to you. Later.